Today we're going to discuss how to calibrate the ammonia electrode and to prepare your solutions. First we want to start by conditioning our electrode after storing it. First take the electrode out of the storage solution making sure not to create a vacuum. And we suggest that you place your ammonia electrode in your mid-level standard with ISA for about 10 to 15 minutes before you start to perform your calibration. First, we start by preparing our calibration standards by adding our ionic strength adjuster or ISA. This ISA uses 2 mL of ISA per 100 milliliters of sample. We always pour a small aliquot of ISA into a separate beaker so that we don't contaminate our stock solution. First, we start with our low level standard, the 0.1 parts per million. Using a clean graduated cylinder and making sure to mix the solution thoroughly, we pour out 50 milliliters of solution all the way up to the line, making sure that the meniscus is touching the line. You want to make sure that the bottom of the meniscus of your solution is touching that 50 milliliter demarcation to ensure that you have 50 milliliters of your standard calibration solution. Pouring that into a fresh clean beaker, we move on to our next solution. Make sure for every solution you prepare, you always use fresh clean glassware to eliminate any sort of contamination. You can use a graduated cylinder or you can use a measured pipette to do this. Once all the solutions are poured, we're going to add our ISA. Since we have 50 milliliters of sample, we're going to use one milliliter of ionic strength adjuster. Using a fresh pipette tip and making sure you have a full milliliter of solution, slowly add one milliliter to each sample. You want to make sure that you add your ISA right before you do your calibration. Since ammonia is a gas, the longer the ISA is in your calibration standard, the more gas you have a chance of losing. Once your calibration standards are complete and your samples are prepared, we want to start our calibration. Take the electrode out and using deionized water, make sure that you rinse the electrode thoroughly. Once the electrode has been rinsed, place it in your first standard starting from high to low going to the 10 part per million solution. Moving on to the meter, we want to start your calibration by hitting F1 to start the calibration mode. Hit enter when you're ready and the meter will start the calibration. Once the meter has started the calibration procedure and it locks onto a value, it will register as ready. Go ahead and edit that value to enter in that 10 part per million solution that we are testing. Save and on to the next point. We're going to then take the electrode out of the 10, rinse it thoroughly, and put it into our one mid-level part per million solution. Hitting start again on the meter, we're going to wait until the meter registers ready. Once the meter registers ready, we're going to edit the concentration value to one part per million. Hitting accept and starting on to the next point, we're going to remove our electrode from that one part per million solution, again making sure to rinse it thoroughly with deionized water to get all the old calibration standard off. We're going to place it into our lowest level standard. Generally speaking, when going into the last calibration point at a very low concentration, this reading may take a little bit longer. Generally about three to five minutes later, the meter is going to lock on to a value at which we're going to then again go in and edit it to say that it's 0.1 parts per million. Once we've input that final calibration point at 0.1 parts per million, we're going to finish our calibration. Hitting the button that says Cal Done, the meter is then going to display the slope value. This slope should be between 54 and 60, and a 59.4 is an accurate slope value. Moving on to our check standard at two parts per million, we're gonna verify that our calibration technique was successful. Waiting for the meter to finally register as ready, we see that our meter then reads back that check standard at two parts per million. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact us at Technical Service.